This is an illustrated essay on the idea of the Baubakiki effect. The Baubakiki effect was observed first by psychologist Wolfgang Kohler in 1929, in which he showed a participant, most of which only spoke Spanish, two shapes, one jagged and pointy, one smooth and bubbly, and asked which was Baluba and which was Tequete. Many likened the smooth, round shape to be Baluba and the jagged to be Tequete. The test was later repeated in 2001 by Villiner S. Ramachandran and Edward Hubbard. Using the monikers Bauba and Kiki, the test hailed similar results, with a test group of Tamil speakers in India and one of English-speaking American college undergrads insisting 95 to 98 percent of the time that the curvy shape was Bauba and the pointy one Kiki. Later studies by folks such as Daphne Maurer shows even people 2.5 years old pick the same option often. Shown as well is that individuals with autism have a smaller ratio, only choosing round to be Bauba and pointing to be Kiki 56% of the time. Fairly small compared to the average individual's 88% ratio. I tried this idea out, going around my school and asking no less and no more than 50 people this question. My results were similar. 45 people identified round and blobby as Bauba and sharp and pointy as Kiki. And only 5 people vice versa. Come to think of it, one of the five already knew about this experiment and decided to be a rebel. Well, whatever. The idea behind the Baubakiki effect is of the connections between shape and sound, even when the two agreeing might not speak the same language. This just goes to show that even though not all of us humans may come from the same country, we all come from the same planet. Have similar emotions, actions, reactions, hearts, minds, and cognitive identification. Perhaps someday we will enhance this idea so we could all have the benefit of communicating with one another. But for now...